Move it or lose it, pals. Only enough traffic. Now you want to look out? Look. <laughs> they see Nell and they're like, okay, let's walk away. <gasps> What's that? Oh, look at that guy. He's like walking towards us like, now nah, he's a tough guy. <clears throat> Now that's what I call a really good throw. Good job, Boo. <laughs> Your throw is better than mine. Again. Me too. I am testing out this new gimbal we got. Well, it's like a stabilizer. And I don't know how it's gonna work, but let's put it to the test. Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We're gonna go sit down on these benches over here. And yeah, we're gonna have a seat outside, the best lighting. Have a little chit chat. Have a little talk. You guys are in trouble. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's freezing cold out, so let's make this real quick, all right? <laughs> so a lot of people have asked us what we would recommend for the RV living. And we can't really recommend a specific RV because everybody's different. But we've also gotten the question, why did we choose a truck camper over all the different things out there? And that we can give our opinion on. So number one, and these aren't in particular order, but number one is the the disconnect of the camper to the the truck the vehicle our class a was all one unit combined and so when we had breakdowns we lost our home as well yeah and a lot of times different places didn't want to work on the big motor home and we had so many people negative every time we took a the our motor home or class a to a shop they would all whine and complain and like oh no this is big and we can't work on this and we can't lift it it's and, and the thing is that it wasn't a big motor home it was a little 22 footer so that was discouraging so after having the motor home and having lots of different issues with it with it not running right having to get it fixed when it was getting fixed not having our home we knew right off the bat that we wanted something disconnected from our home unit. So we wanted our motor to be separate from our home dwelling. So that's why we didn't want to get another RV, didn't we, we didn't want to get another motor home. And that's also why we didn't want to get a van. So all of it's connected. It led, it led down to 
a truck camper, travel trailer, fifth wheel, or a trailer conversion. Yeah, we or were a tiny house. We were a tiny house that as well. We we narrowed it down to a trailer conversion or a truck camper eventually. Yeah. But we chose the truck camper for many reasons. So point number two. Two is mobility aspect of things. Um, With a travel trailer and anything that you can pull behind your vehicle, it's going to take up a lot more space. Lengthwise. So whereas a van would have been compact, it would have still had the motor attached to it. And the travel trailers, fifth wheels, all were not as compact. See, with, with the truck camper, we can literally fit anywhere. We can back up into anything when we're driving in through, let's say, let's say we're just, you know, driving through a town and there's a, a shop on Main Street. We're like, hey, let's go check it out. Well, we can do that now in our truck camper. We couldn't do that in our motorhome. We would have to disconnect. We would have to park at a Walmart, take our tow vehicle all the way to the Main Street, you know, and, and roam around town. And some of these places weren't even um, planned. It was just like spare of the moment kind of things. But now with our truck camper, we're spare of the moment. We're just pulling over all everywhere and back into places. And it's just yeah. so much better. We're just so much more mobile. And she can even drive it. Exactly. She feels comfortable That's driving it. My point number three is the fact that I can even drive it. I drive it and I seriously just feel like I'm driving a truck. Yeah, it is. So literally. I have to keep in mind that there's actually a camper on the back. And, you know, you have to take it easier around the corners. But otherwise, I mean, it drives just like if you were driving a truck. Yeah. And so I can definitely drive it. And that would have been a difference between driving, you know, a truck towing a fifth wheel or a travel trailer. I just don't know if I would be as comfortable. So that's kind of our point number three. You, you could totally drive a fifth wheel. You could drive a semi. I know you could. But... <laughs> It just wouldn't be comfortable, you yeah. know? It's just like, it's yeah. so convenient yeah. in a truck camp. Because I did awesome. drive our motorhome, but it just, it really wasn't comfortable. I didn't enjoy it at all. So, and then there's a bonus point. Uh, this is just a personal thing, is I really enjoy having the bed as a cab owner. It keeps the bed clean. It's away from the bathroom. It's away from all the dirt on the floor. I just really like having that separate sleeping area, and that's what you get with the truck camper. It's a perfect way to utilize space too, you know, because with the travel trailer or a travel trailer specifically, fifth wheels are similar to truck campers in a way that they have that cab over mm -hmm. style. Travel trailers, you actually have the bed in that same living space. So it takes up more space so you have to have a longer travel trailer. Yeah. So you know? like if you were to get a smaller travel trailer, like an R pod or whatever, I know a lot of those have their bed. Sorry guys. We chose a really bad spot to film this. Well, anyway, a lot of the different smaller RVs, um, travel trailers and stuff have the bed compact in it with the table so one moment it's a seating area and a table and then they convert it to the bed area so we definitely knew we didn't want to do that just personal preference but so um, to yeah. narrow this down it's the disconnect of the camper to the truck right mobility mobility and, and easily easier to drive for you easier to drive yep and a little bonus, and that's the bed area having its own separate deal. It's like a whole different room in a way. Yeah. Um, yep. And yeah, that pretty much concludes like why, why we chose, we a, truck chose a truck camper. Yeah. Um, you know, we all have our own preferences. We want more space, so we want a bigger rig. You know, it's just personal preference. This is our preference. Um, with the three of us, a truck camper is perfect. But then again, there's truck campers that are all different sizes. We chose a vintage, smaller yeah. truck camper for many reasons. Mm -hmm. But there's truck campers that are massive. They have slide outs. There's all different types of truck campers to suits everyone needs. But we love our truck camper and we love the simplicity of it. And, and now, now we're gonna go back to our truck camper it's and freezing get cold. warmed up. Cause it's freezing it is cold. Freezing. I hope you guys can see us because it's kind of so. dark out. All right, so let's go. All right, let's go get warmed up. Woo! 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 Let's go, let's go.